More than a dozen federal, state, and local elected officials, including labor advocates, joined in the fight to protect mass transit. We live in a 24-7 global economy that doesn't stop at 1 a.m. Thousands of people who work in that period of time and denying them a mass transit opportunity to get to work is in essence denying them a job. New Jersey's 8th District Congressman says the state always gets the short end of the stick when it comes to the Port Authority. And I am tired of it. I lived here, we worked very hard. All the people are like here work very hard to get mass transit in this area because we know how important it is. Even having the idea out there is damaging our economy, according to Mayor Don Zimmer. Damaging the future of New Jersey. It puts us at a competitive disadvantage to New York City where they've got 24-7 service that goes within their city. How could our governor consider this? How could the Port Authority consider this? An advocate for working families says she's not surprised the governor would take action that runs counter to the interests of New Jerseyans. We are going to continue to fight to ensure that it's not only about um, maintaining services, but ensuring that transparency, accountability, and that this Port Authority doesn't continue to be a slush fund piggy bank. According to the mayor of Jersey City, buses are not an adequate replacement for trains. People have moved to this area, people have invested in this area based on access to mass transportation. Vincent Prieto says they tout mass transit as the way to move. Since tolls have risen to $14, there's no way services should be cut. These proposals are unacceptable, and we will do everything in our power to do the right thing. Senator Nicholas Sacco says a billion-dollar agency claims they might be able to save $10 million by doing it on the backs of the people of Hudson County. And they're aiming at the people who need transportation. We push public transportation. What sense is pushing if we want to take it away? In Jersey City, Jillian Risberg, HCTV News.